Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here in this video today I wanted to talk about a really really big update we had come out very recently about Fnatic and their summer 2022 roster and you know Maybe that means our roster going into the future as well. Um, we have heard all different kinds of uh, Rumors and speculation and stuff this offseason coming from various people inside the LEC and the League of Legends community You know there has been a lot of talk uh, about potential changes happening in Europe and again Fnatic has been uh uh, a part of these talks as well. So that's what we're going to be going over in this video today. Definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. You guys don't want to miss out on anything we got going on in the near future. We've done a great job, I do think, covering the offseason so far. Um, but there's still more to come, and there's MSI right around the corner. Uh, so yeah, make sure you subscribe uh, and consider checking out the Patreon. First link in the description below if you want to get early access to my videos before they go live on YouTube. Um, but also, uh, just help support me, my channel, and my content. We're on that road to full-time content creation. With that being said, let's get right into this one. So what we had heard previously for not only Fnatic, but a lot of Europe is the fact that there might be a little like jungle musical chairs going on. We had heard that potentially uh, Mad Lions could be moving on from El Yoya. Not moving on from El Yoya, I guess, but maybe selling him off. Maybe El Yoya wants to leave. Maybe they're shopping him around a little bit considering they're coming off a seventh place finish in the LEC and he's obviously a guy who has big, big value. And this is, you know, just last offseason, they sold off Humanoid. So it's not like totally inconceivable they could sell off El Yoya. Um, and then we heard that, hey, maybe Fnatic is looking to move on from Razork. We know that, uh, you know, Fnatic is this kind of super team. They have uh, just a lot of really, really good players. They already have one of the best bot lanes in the West, maybe one of the best bot lanes in the world in Upset and Hillisang. At least that was the, the storyline coming into the season. You had Humanoid who, uh, you know, made it out of groups at Worlds, made it to semifinals at MSI, uh, won back-to-back -back LEC championships. You have Wonder who has all the pedigree. And then Razork who was a really, really good rookie and an MVP candidate last year in the LEC. This team made so much Sense, but Razork had gained a lot of criticism. You know, Fnatic struggled at times uh, and then ended up getting bounced and, and finished third place in the LEC playoffs when they probably should have finished better than that. You know, on paper, they probably uh, should have been a top two, if not a top one team. And then there was also talks about, uh, you know, is Razork doing good behind the scenes and stuff? You know, he had a lot of kind of interesting tweets, uh, you know, after the games, he tweeted out, sorry, I'm bad. It seems like, uh, you know, he was kind of taking things a little bit harder than other people. He also tweeted like a wilted rose and then it ended up deleting it. He had all these different things. There was this uh, talk of whether or not Razork was happy at Fnatic. You know, there was like, oh, maybe he doesn't fit in with the team. Maybe he's not getting along with everyone well. Maybe he just doesn't really like the environment. Maybe he'd benefit from a change of scenery. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then also at the same time, maybe Fnatic could upgrade. Maybe Maxi would be better for the team. Maybe El Yoyo would be better for the team, whatever. But that gets us to, uh, to yesterday, I think, where Yamato... Uh, you made a whatever. I know everyone always tries to roast me for saying it wrong, uh, but uh, I don't know. I like saying you made but everyone's like, oh, it's your, it's your motto, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, he tweeted out this fanatic summer 2022 and a picture of the boys all together. Obviously, here we have upset, Hilla saying, humanoid, Razork, and Wonder himself. So, at least according to this uh, Yamato tweet, it does seem like Fnatic will be running back their same lineup for summer of 2022. And I think at the end of the day, a lot of people think that will be a good decision. Now, overall, I think El Yoyo would have been an upgrade over Razork. And I don't think people would have, you know, I don't think Fnatic fans would have, wouldn't have minded uh, ending up with El Yoyo. I think that would have been pretty exciting in a lot of ways. Um, Razork was kind of seen as the weak link uh, on Fnatic, especially earlier on in the regular season. Now, I think he definitely got better as the year went on, and into the playoffs, I think he was decent. You know, like a lot of people have said, I don't think necessarily he was the reason why Fnatic kind of pittered out as, as the towards the end of the season. Um, but how's he going to be in the summer? You know, there's going to be a lot more pressure on him. Obviously, uh, Mad Lions has now leveled up a little bit, um, getting Niski on their team. They're going to be in the mix, probably most people assume. Maybe Vitality uh, starts playing a little bit better in summer. Like, there's going to be a lot of good teams in Europe. Fnatic is coming off a third place finish in the playoffs. And uh, yeah, only top three makes world. So it's very possible for Fnatic to move up. But again, they're sitting at three right now, and there's going to be a lot of teams coming for that. There is maybe a world where Fnatic ends up missing out on worlds entirely, which would just be a disaster. That would be an absolute shame with a roster this talented on paper, and it's just not going to be acceptable. This team is spending too much money. They have too much expectations, all this stuff. So 
we will have to see how that goes. But again, if Razork is a guy who this stuff has been getting to, if it's been impacting him, if he's like a little bit upset, a little bit depressed, if he's stressed, if it's, uh, you know, affecting his play and stuff like that, uh, I don't know. You got to be careful because things are only going to get worse in the summer. The the expectations, the pressure, especially after falling short in the spring, are going to be even higher on this team. And I also wonder in the spring, you know, in this little mini offseason, like what happened? Did Razork say, hey, maybe I want to leave. Like, can we check if there's any places for me to go? You know, maybe I don't know. I'm not as happy here. And they talked was fanatic like, hey, maybe we should replace Razork. We're going to go shop around, you know, like and is Razork upset? Is he offended that fanatic was maybe looking at other jungle options? Did Razork not care? Did Razork ask for it? You know, like maybe Razork's not super happy. Maybe he's feeling the pressure a little bit about potentially getting replaced. Maybe during the summer split, Fnatic might still look at promoting Maxi or something like that. I don't necessarily know. There is a ton of questions now, but again, overall, I think a lot of people are going to be pretty happy that Fnatic is running back this roster. Again, I think Razork looked better towards the end of the year, looked better in the playoffs, and a lot of people, you know, don't necessarily think it was fair to, to blame everything on him, but hey, fans are going to be fans. That kind of stuff happens sometimes, but this does look like this will be the Fnatic roster for 2022 summer. Who knows 2023 and beyond we'll have to see and it's going to largely depend on how they do in the summer playoffs and how they do at Worlds but this team is still great on paper if they can figure things out which I think they will more time together is only going to help them uh, you know develop synergies and, and learn a play style and get all these things down. I still think that this team can be the best team in the West. I still think on paper, this team is so, so talented and way too talented to not be going to Worlds, to not be winning LEC titles. Uh, so I am excited for this. Now, on the other side, uh, you know, we heard about this jungle carousel, maybe uh, Razork, maybe El Yoya, maybe Self Made moving on. I still don't know what's going on with Self Made. I don't know if he's going down to Vitality B, if he's staying with Vitality, whatever. Seems like Razork's staying with Fnatic. And one of the stories or rumors or whatever that I had heard or that had been posted somewhere was that uh, maybe El Yoya wasn't happy at Mad Lions. Maybe he wanted to leave if they weren't going to get upgrades on their team or at least an upgrade because obviously there was talks for a little while of Niski. You know, Niski was in talks with Cloud9. Uh, Wulu tweeted out that maybe Niski was in talks with Excel also. So even though Mad Lions always seemed like the obvious choice uh, for Niski, um, it was potential and it was possible that maybe Niski wouldn't have ended up at Mad Lions and maybe uh, Mad Lions would have struck out on mid laners entirely. Maybe they would have had to run back Reeker. Maybe they would have had to get another ERL mid. Um, I, honestly, at that point, I don't even know who the other option is. Like, if, if Mad Lines didn't get Niski or VTO, I don't even know who their next choice or next opportunity was going to be for the mid lane. So, if they couldn't land one of those two big upgrades in Niski uh, or VTO, Maybe then El Yoyo would have wanted to leave, and then maybe El Yoyo would have ended up on Fnatic. Maybe that would have meant Razor to Mad Lions. Who knows exactly what would have happened? But from what I heard, it seemed like uh, getting Niski to Mad Lions was enough to keep El Yoya happy and to get him to stay for this summer split. Now, hey, that's all rumor. That's all speculation. I don't know for sure, um, but it makes sense. You know, like, hey, this was a seventh place team. Reeker wasn't that good. It seems like the weak spot on this team. Uh, but now with Niski, this team all of a sudden seems like a team that could potentially compete for a world spot so it would make sense to at least you know even if you're El Yoya even if you are like a little skeptical and not happy that your team just finished seventh maybe you would then be willing to at least run it back in the summer but uh yeah I I do think at this point that El Yoya will be sticking with Mad Lions I do think and it seems like Razork will be sticking with Fnatic no idea what's happening over to Vitality and no idea if we're not going to get uh you know this jungle movement over in the LEC after all because again uh, a lot of times it's one move happening that makes a bunch of other moves happen but if this move doesn't happen and that move doesn't happen then it could really stop everything from happening uh, um, so all of a sudden, you know, the LEC offseason gets a little less spicy while the LCS offseason is just popping off right now. Um, but still, pretty big news that Fnatic is going to be running back the same roster. Uh, and I think and hope that they will do better in summer 2022 because this team's playing good and this team at their best potential, I think would be super fun to watch uh, and a team that could absolutely, absolutely be a threat at international competition. Uh, and hey, I'm all about the West having more teams with some hope going into worlds. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Fnatic running back this roster. You think it's a good call, bad call, somewhere in between. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to up to date on my latest content. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.